Yeah. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to some more Anime Artifact Simulator 2 content here on the channel. I don't know what it is, man, but I'm kind of like low-key addicted to this game. I, I don't know. I, I really, really like and dig the vibe of this game. Some of you guys also stated that it was the same for you in the last video. Just let me know in the comments below if you guys have been enjoying this game as much as I have. But we're back at it again. We're going to pay to win some more. I got a free spin over here, so let's use this. But yeah, we're going to pay to win. I played a little bit off camera and I'll tell you guys exactly what I did or tell you guys exactly what I did, excuse me, slash show you. But yeah, we just got pretty much swole. So first thing first, we're gonna go into the invaded village here and we're gonna go into the little upgrade section. And we're gonna show you guys that I'm full level for everything. Now you might be wondering, well, what the heck? How do you get everything? And yet you're only in the first part of the demon world and you don't have any of the other worlds unlocked. Well, I'm going to tell you guys about this. Uh, hopefully they don't patch this. I'm sure they will. And not even because of my video, but because a lot of people probably already know about it. Right? So here's the thing, right? If I go into stage 20, for example, uh, the pain boss gives me gems, right? If I click quit now and then I go back in, oh, I think they already fixed it. Yeah. They already fixed it. You see what I'm saying? But this is what I did. I took advantage of this, uh, this thing where basically if you went in and you killed a boss and you click quit, it would leave you at the same floor. And if you were at a boss in the infinity city right over here right? in the infinite mode, if you will, that basically gave you gems. You could quit after killing the boss and getting gems, kill the boss again, get gems, quit, go back in, get more gems. And you could keep it going and going and going and going. And that's exactly what I did. And thankfully, you know, I, I managed to use that to my advantage and max everything out one last time in the upgrade area over here before they implemented that patch. Cause apparently it's, it's already been fixed. If you didn't drop a like on the video, you're going to fail your oh, next no. test. You don't want that to happen. I'm good luck for you. Drop a like on the video right now. So, but anyways, uh, we're going to go into demon town. As you guys can tell, I do have 76 million coins. I'm not going to bother with, uh, summoning any more weapons or items from this area because I'll show you guys pretty much, um, my primary fan, the moderate fan thing is an insane, like it's almost 15,000 damage level 46. My other one is pretty good too. So I'm not going to upgrade or summon here. I might go through the entire demon slayer world in actuality without even upgrading or getting new weapons, but we'll see. This boss fight should be a pretty easy boss fight. But again, this is something that, you know, we'll also see if that's the case. In actuality, yeah, it's going to be extremely easy. We're not even taking much damage at all. And we are just like critting like no tomorrow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, that was super easy. So let's open this up. All right. Now we have access to the second world over here. Let's see. We just got to this area and interesting. So we do a decent amount of damage. It's not like a crazy, crazy amount, but I'll take it. It's not too bad. Now, in order to expedite this process, right? Uh, let's go into boost here and we're going to go ahead and use a times two damage boost. Now, this is the only thing that I hate about this game is how boosts are very, very, very expensive because just 10 minutes of this is, you know, 150 bow bucks. But uh, yeah, I guess we can also use some gold boost here and we'll just leave it at that and keep it going. So apparently it's impossible for me to do the, the boss as is which is pretty interesting. I, I thought I would have been able to take on the boss. All right, I do have another spin active, guys. Or ready to go, should I say? Let's see what we get. All right, we got some coins. If you guys didn't watch last video, you would know I pretty much have almost all of the uh, game passes in the game. And I think in this video, I'm just gonna get the Mythical Hunter game pass, which is 1,800, well, basically 1,900 bow bucks. I'm gonna buy it. This is gonna allow us to get 10 times the chance to get a Mythical weapon. So that's gonna be very, very OP. And uh, we might as well just buy the unlimited weapon package as well. That way we have unlimited inventory space for when we summon on weapons. So uh, I'm not going to get the light fruit and uh, well, I guess I can get double speed too, right? So let's get double speed. I wasn't going to get it because it's like it's pointless, but I guess you do have a use for it if you just click auto because you move around that much quicker. And you know, auto is free or auto attacking is free in this game, but there's a reason behind it, right? Because it, you look, you, we attacked that one dude. Now we're attacking this dude. The next dude we might attack could be at that far left hand corner down over here. So auto attacking isn't really as great as it is made out to seem. But if you have double the speed and all the speed upgrades and all that stuff, it becomes uh, a little bit better to use. It, so but yeah, if you guys are curious about the light fruit, I'll show you why I'm not going to buy it. Uh, so the light fruit is right here. You get a passive speed effect of 100 percent. But for 1600 Bobux, I don't care and I'm not going to use it unless it has another use that I don't know about. You guys let me know if that's the case. 
but uh, as of right now to my understanding it, it sucks so i'm not gonna buy it i'm not gonna spend 1600 bow bucks on that now in fact i am gonna exit out so that my game passes are 100 percent in here you know because you guys know sometimes you buy game passes in games and they don't go into effect unless you like rejoin the game so i want to make sure that my game passes are 100 here and working all right look yeah you see the game passes weren't even working you see how much faster we're running around now guys compared to before so it's a good thing that I, it's a good thing excuse me <laughs> what am i jamaican good thing <laughs> but yeah it's a good thing i decided to leave and rejoin here now i do want to rank up before we actually start summoning on some new weapons here to take on the boss so i guess we'll just do that real quickly but let me see all right you know what i'm gonna try to buy a times three lucky boots well i'm gonna save that actually we're gonna summon as it is without the three times luck boost because i'm gonna try to do that for when we get to the last world and we should definitely get to the last world by the end of this video and uh hopefully we can get like the most rarest mythical weapon in the game uh as it is right now all right we ranked up guys you can see our new bonuses here so we are gonna auto open a couple of times here and hopefully you know we get some some legendary or mythics because uh you know we, we bought a game pass for 10 times the mythic luck and we also have all the upgrades for legendary slash mythics but as of right now uh nothing you know i, I thought we were gonna be getting these things left and right but uh, these items do happen to do a lot of damage though for sure like e even just like the epics do 4.9k base damage which is absurd right so imagine a legendary legendary has to be at least like six to eight thousand uh damage all right so we finally got our first legendary and it was indeed seven thousand damage so i'm gonna unequip this one and we're gonna equip the mist hashira as our offhand and we'll equip yeah we're gonna switch to our susana right we're gonna go to our susana and we're just gonna equip uh these two weapons as our new weapons in fact i can actually just give my susano uh this legendary all right there you go so now we're just gonna feed or fuse rather all these weapons that we just got into our new legendary so this weapon is now gonna do or maybe i, I didn't do it correctly uh okay there you go yeah and it's not gonna do 32,000 damage guys so this should definitely be extremely easy now oh and the attack looks really nice but yeah it should be ah, it's normal difficulty i'm gonna try it nonetheless because of course we're trying to take advantage of our double attack right or our double damage as much as we can so I, I think we should fare out just fine to be honest with you no cap i think we should be good yeah we're gonna be good bro we're, we're all right all right and while we do that let's also go ahead and spin on the fortune wheel and we got some more gems not bad so yeah maybe i shouldn't have listened to the game when it said that it would have been impossible to take on this boss fight maybe we could have easily done it but it is what it is it's an easy fight nonetheless okay so now we're gonna move on to the last stage for the demon slayer area so uh yeah we're not really doing too much damage here at all guys i'm not gonna lie i was gonna wait until we got like at least 100 million coins here but wow this is taking so long <laughs> well it's not taking like extremely long but compared to how we were going before it's uh it's taking pretty long so i'm just gonna kill off one more npc and then we're gonna try our luck to see what we get out of the chest because our double damage is about to run out already so let's see maybe we can get lucky uh, oh my god twenty-two thousand for the epic <gasps> oh we got our first mythic yo we got our first mythic baby let's go that's a dub that's a really big dub right there yes sir homie all right so let's unequip this and we'll equip our first mythical item that is crazy and we're gonna fuse oh my goodness gracious bro i can't believe i just got that that's crazy that's that mythic luck coming in but even still guys whoo look at that ability homie <laughs> that's crazy but yeah even though we got our first mythic it doesn't seem that we're doing like that much crazier damage so this area is definitely gonna take us a bit of time to complete here guys i'm not gonna lie i have a minute left for my double um damage boost so i'm gonna try it even though the game is saying it's impossible for us to defeat muzan i'm gonna try it i'm gonna see how it goes and why does okay muzan looks like very very weird yeah i i guess the game was trolling because this is definitely not quote-unquote impossible to complete all right while we do that let's go ahead and collect our bonus here or our reward if you will actually no the game was right <laughs> i guess it's more so about your rank than it is the damage that you do on whether or not if you'll be able to complete the boss fight guys because look i'm just not i cannot you know i can't tank this out all right whatever unfortunately we're gonna have to grind it out and we're gonna lose our double damage but it's okay though all right look we leveled up already too so 
Let's try to do a couple of multi opens here. See if we get lucky again. Okay, and we got a, a legendary, dude. <laughs> I feel like our RNG is even better going into this next area here. That's dope. So we'll equip this as our offhand, and then we'll go into our Susano and equip this weapon as our offhand as well. And then we'll just feed all of our things into our offhand weapon. And our offhand is now doing a bunch of damage too. So now things should be a lot easier for us. And indeed they are. All right, let's see what the game says now. It's still impossible. <laughs> what the heck? All right, we're gonna have to stay grinding in this area for a little bit because it seems Muzan is not gonna be an easy fight for us. And our damage boost expired, but I'm not gonna renew it just yet. Yo, shout out to my boy Zaki in the chat for saying use star code OG Vex. Cause uh, yeah, you guys need to start using my star code again, man. If you guys don't know for example if you're gonna buy like a hundred dollars worth of bobux right you can go ahead and click here to start you start using a star code and type in og vex my boy it's literally that simple you star code og vex when you buy bobux it could be any amount and just support mr swole so be sure to use that and uh yeah thank you <laughs> all right now i'm gonna keep uh keep on grinding oh my i just got another mythic bro <laughs> back to back mythics oh my goodness gracious we are getting so freaking lucky all right so we're gonna equip this mythic on our offhand and then we're gonna give our other legendary to uh my susano right so that way he can you know be doing some decent amount of damage as well but uh yeah let's just go ahead and fuse onto this one and now that one's gonna be doing 50k damage so i think maybe we can defeat the heck man this moves on stuff I don't even know if it's because of my rank or what, but every single time I check, it literally says it's impossible for me to defeat Muzan. Okay, we finally leveled up, guys. So I'm gonna auto open again and, you know, just feed one of my weapons. But hopefully, this rank up is enough to move on to the next area because otherwise, I don't know, man. This game is tough going from world to world. I thought I would have been able to get to the. Wow, we just got another legendary. Nice. But yeah, I thought I would have been able to get to like the max roll this video, but now I'm not even quite too sure. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to, honestly. So let me make sure I don't fuse this legendary. I'm just going to preserve it. And um, yeah, let's see what the game says now about us. it's going to be difficult to fight him. Okay, what, what if I buy the damage boost? Let's do that. I swear to you, I spend so much bow bucks every time I play this game, but... Let's buy, you know, a damage boost. Bada boop. Can we now fight? It still says difficult. How does that make any sense? All right. Let, let, let's challenge him. I think we should get it done. I don't know, bro. All right, here we go. Yeah, this is definitely not difficult at all. I don't really know why they said it was going to be difficult, but we are critting like there's no tomorrow. We're probably just getting pretty lucky, but not too bad. I think we can get it done. And to be honest, I said this in the last video too, but I don't even know if boost even count when you go into a boss fight because your boost uh, multiplier things disappear when you're in a boss fight. They're no longer located in the bottom left hand corner, but you'll notice that once we complete this boss fight, they'll be visible again. So I don't even know if they count for anything while you're fighting the boss, but I think I'm going to die. Oh my God. I'm going to die, but I'm going to revive. I don't care. I just need to get this done. I just need to avoid that. That's what I'm not paying attention to is avoiding his attacks. That's what I should have been doing. Just not tanking his damage out, but rather avoiding the attacks. As you can see, there you go. We got it done. So. I think it is a doable boss fight if you just pay attention to where the bosses, uh, like AOE specs are at. But next area apparently is One Piece. Um, so this is kind of whack. I was expecting us to get like something new for us to use, but no, nothing new here. Let's just click auto. These guys take even longer to, to kill off as you guys can tell. <laughs> so our mythical weapons are more than likely already obsolete, which is just absurd to me. You know what? I'm just going to buy a love up. <laughs> so that we can go straight into another rank there you go and you know what i'm gonna do it again because why not so we're now level 18 let's go baby and we already lost our gold boost guys i'm not gonna buy another one because it, it is pretty expensive they're 200 bow bucks per boost so unfortunately we have to depend on the event bonus which is still two times gold so it's not slow slow but it is slower than what we were you know getting before matter of fact let's check what crocodile oh my god he's impossible still that's crazy what the heck let's see if we can get lucky with a with a summon here oh my god wow these items do so much damage what all right let's go for individual summons right because we can't do a 10 times summon but we can open a couple of these individually so we're getting a couple of uh epics i think i'm gonna have to replace my mythical i'm not gonna like fuse it or nothing but i'm gonna have to replace it because just the epics are better so let's just click equip best and there you go as you guys can see these epics are just way better than anything else that we have on us so let's make sure we don't fuse the legendaries or the mythics but uh yeah there you go now let's see how much damage we do and okay all right yeah it's a little bit faster to kill this uh, or these guys i'll say this guy but in reality it's gonna be 
all the NPCs in this area. So that's pretty nice. Okay, I just finally got the first legendary for this area, guys. But let me tell you, man, <laughs> this area is not a joke. It's, it's really, really difficult to level things up in this area. But um, anyway, let's go ahead and feed our legendary here. I'm actually going to get rid. I mean, I don't, I don't want to get rid of the mythicals, but the legendaries, I don't care about. I guess I'll feed it. There you go. I don't know how to lock either. Oh, I'm so dumb. There's a lock button right here. So let's go ahead and lock uh, both of our mythics. There you go. So, I mean, even still with what we have right now, guys, I don't think, yeah, it's still impossible to take on Crocodile. I'm going to challenge him, even though if we end up dying, it is what it is. Just because we have like about two minutes left on our, uh, you know, double attack boost. So let's see how this goes. And I don't even think, oh. I was about to say, I don't even think we're damaging him. Now, our ability on our um, legendary does heal us for a little bit of damage. But, I mean, it doesn't even matter because, as you guys can tell, Crocodile is just doing way too much damage. Now, mid-battle, let's do this. Let's level up. Yeah, I feel like this game is literally just uh, a matter of, hey, just spend as much Bobux as you can on me, please. That's the only way you'll progress. Because I feel like the only progress that I'm making is by spending money on boosts, not even playing the game legitimately, right? All right, yo, even though I uh, I activated that that boost for an extra level, guys, it's still not good enough. All right, how about how about how about another level? <laughs> I've spent over like four thousand bow bucks already this video on this game, yo. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh my lord! Oh wait, actually, oh we might do it now. Oh wait a minute. Oh yeah, we might do it now. You know what? How about you make that another level? Yeah, crocodile, you weren't expecting me to pay to win like this, huh? But how about now, Mr. Crocodile? Yeah, this man can't damage me. This man cannot touch me, man. So I, I think this is what it is, guys. I think it's literally a matter of you just having way more HP than the boss as far as you being able to kill off the boss. Because I feel like we do a decent amount of damage. It's just that we cannot take the hits that he happens to dish out. But um, anyway, what just what the hell just happened? Oh my God, we almost killed this man and they kicked us out. I Or was that me trying to claim this reward thing? Oh no, they have a timer. I forgot all about the timer. Dang. Okay, uh, I don't know. Hopefully we can get it done in a minute and 30 seconds because I legitimately forgot all about this timer. So... This is rather unfortunate because now it's like we have more than enough HP to fight the boss. We just don't do enough damage. <laughs> what the heck, man? Ah, oh, what a life I live, bro. So we literally have 20 seconds left and he has 260 million HP. I think we can do it, but I would have to be able to proc off my Susano. Uh, yeah, no, actually, never mind. Yeah, it, it, we're not gonna be able to do it. Ah, oh, man, I got a little bit too confident. Uh, and my Susano just procced off right now. But I, yeah, and I even messed up by moving around. Oh my lord, what a life I live. All right, well, uh, back to square one and grinding. I'll catch you guys in a little bit when I can, you know, level up my weapons. All right, actually, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna have to buy another damage boost. This game, <laughs> it's only bad for me. Like, it's only bad for YouTubers because for you guys, you can AFK this game and be just fine. But for us, it's kind of like we have time to record a video. And in order to do it as effectively as possible, we have to spend bow bucks because this game is like an AFK game. If you're trying to do everything on camera as I'm trying to do it, uh, yeah, you're going to spend a lot of cash, which as you guys can tell, I am spending a lot of bow bucks right now, right? Okay, we got another legendary, so that counts for something, I guess, right? <laughs> the only problem with uh, us getting these legendaries is that the ability on the legendary for this world sucks. Like, we get healed, which is okay, but it doesn't do a burst of damage, which ultimately uh, leads to lower DPS, and uh, it just takes longer to kill things, you know? But anyhow, as you guys can see... Uh, we now have our second legendary, so I'm still going to focus mainly just on fusing for my primary one. Okay, I just got some back-to-back -back legendary. Okay, three back-to-back -back legendaries. Okay, my RNG's popping off right now, but unfortunately, it, it's not even like something out of this world because, uh, like I said, we do more damage, but it's just our abilities. Our abilities with this weapon suck, man. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really a big fan of the ability on this weapon, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully we can defeat the boss. Let me just go ahead and actually fuse some of the other ones that I have. All right, screw it. So let's try the boss. It says it's going to be normal difficulty now. I hope that's really the case because huh, I should not have been in this area for as long as I have been given that I spent so much bow bucks on this area. It's like absurd, guys. But I mean, look, this is what I mean. Like how... 
we're not really doing too much damage but i guess like when susano pops up we'll see really how much damage we do overall but our abilities just count for nothing because again they just heal me they don't do damage to the boss all right here we go we're gonna summon our susano we have a minute left i really don't think i'll be able to defeat this boss i'm just gonna keep it a stack with you guys but if we happen to defeat him all the merrier as they say right more power to us but right we'll see okay actually i think we might defeat the boss so we have 180 million health left on him um about 20 seconds left as well overall our susano is almost ready to be summoned up again so uh i think we got it pretty much in the bag but you never know because we have 10 seconds now and 120 uh okay susano please susano please susano please susano please no vex don't use the abilities you dummy oh man we're not gonna complete it oh wait 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 yeah we completed it we completed it <laughs> the timer ran out but for some reason why am i still attacking i'm not even clicking oh okay never mind but yeah for some reason the timer ran out but it still counted that's all i care about so it was as they say all right next world yo still nothing new what the hell is the next area gonna have something um bro i don't even yeah i don't even think the next area is gonna have anything new for us to do which is like weird what the heck this is whack all right well this area has pretty much the same rates for weapons let's see how quickly we can manage to kill off uh blackbeard here not very quick at all oh my goodness <laughs> <laughs> and here i thought i was gonna get to the last world which i think the last world in this game is bleach just imagine how long that's gonna take us Ooh, okay the weapon that i got from the boss is really good though so i am gonna equip this as my primary weapon oh my god look i've been playing like a complete amateur and i'm gonna tell you guys why in just a moment i i, I think i've been uh miscalculating how to play the game <laughs> So, right, let me just kill this doe flamingo and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you guys exactly how to be swole. At least I think this is how gonna, this is going to be, excuse me, how to be swole. All right, look, so we're going to see if we can even open 10 times. Okay, we could have. Wow, these weapons are freaking busted. Uh, so, yeah, they do 444,000 damage. So, look what I mean. So, if we go to teleport, right, and then we go to, I think it's um, Demon Town, right? Right, okay. So, in Demon Town, remember how there's, like, an enhancement black blacksmith type thing over here? So, this is what I mean. Like, we could literally just use three of these guys to enhance the weapon. Uh, I don't... I don't really know why I wasn't doing this, but I could have been doing this for... Especially the legendaries. I mean the downside to doing that is that you know obviously you're going to be spending gems so if you don't have a whole lot of gems you really don't want to do this but that is an effective way to just you know get your damage up really fast so let me show you guys just how much by fusing uh you see we barely get any increment or any damage increase by fusing these but um yeah whatever we'll just use it anyways <laughs> and tell me how this is still glitched notice how like in order for me to go to the summit island i have to pay gems now i'm gonna have to leave and rejoin all right so i just rejoined and as you guys can see now i can uh teleport without having to pay but um yeah we're doing a little bit more damage nothing crazy for some reason my boost reset by me rejoining i i don't i don't know but i'll take it <laughs> right i'm back up to 20 uh minutes of double damage and also my my spin the wheel stuff reset as well I, I don't know sometimes this game just glitches out but i'm not complaining hey because it's all in my favor right i don't really know what's going on either right now guys but every time i try to fuse into this uh this epic weapon doesn't matter how many weapons i have but as you can tell the level doesn't go up the attack damage doesn't go up so i don't really know what's going on here <laughs> i'm gonna wait until i get another batch of weapons even though it probably won't change anything i might have to rejoin but i think uh something might be glitched out and also i've noticed that it's faster and easier for me to gain money not even attacking these npcs here i'm going to show you guys what i mean so for example this blackbeard you can tell how long it's taking me to kill him and you can see how my money is going up and everything so it took me quite a uh, quite a bit to kill him off uh it only really counted as a lot of cash when i managed to kill him off but Look how much easier it is for me to kill these guys in this area and i can just do this like this so i think maybe uh, a better approach to grinding in the game is to not grinding at the level that you're really at right now but rather go back one and just work your way up there when you have a little bit better dps um because as you guys can see um this one's taking a little bit longer for us to defeat but it's still a very good amount of yen or gold coins if you will when you fully defeat them so all right look guys i'm gonna open 10 times here 
um right we got another bunch of swords so look if i go to my primary one and i click fuse oh now it decides to give us more damage but before it, it, it wouldn't work no matter what i did guys it would just not work i guess you need a lot of xp or a lot of weapons to raise the levels of these weapons to their next rarity but um yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna keep it going unfortunately i think i'm gonna have to buy a gold boost because gold is also taking a very long time to get now so hopefully this you know speeds things up a little bit for us because this is taking a very long time and why is all this stream deck stuff opening up i don't know whatever anyways yes onwards and upwards we go all right guys so i've been afk for like the past like 15 minutes or something uh somebody invited me oh never mind <laughs> um so yeah we have a bunch of coins we have six billion coins i'm gonna spend it to try to uh you know get a new better weapon it's still impossible to take on a kaiju so let's add an open brother and maybe we can get like a really good mythical weapon i'm still not gonna buy okay we got a, a legendary our first legendary matter of fact but i'm still not gonna spend money on getting the triple luck boost because i feel like it's obsolete but um I don't know i think we're doing all right so far though it'd be nice if we could get two legendaries that way i can just put both griffins on um but i don't think that's gonna happen just my luck <sighs> i'm telling you this game is one big like afk grind fest like it's not a game that you're gonna get on and expect to get everything done right away it's, it's better if you just afk oh and there you go i think oh no <laughs> i thought i freaking got two griffins but Oh well, it is what it is. We got one. That's all that matters. So we'll equip this on our offhand, I guess. Or maybe just our primary. Screw it. Yes, primary. We'll fuse everything we got into this. And I'm also spinning right now. Okay, got 54 million coins. It ain't count for nothing. Oh no, I, okay. I was about to say this this game is like so buggy right now, bro. Alright, so we have a million on our main hand weapon. Let's see what that ability looks like. Ooh. Okay. I kind of like this ability to be honest with you. And, uh, yeah, we're actually doing a pretty good amount of damage now. All right, that's pretty nice. Let's see how... Okay, never mind. It's still impossible. Damn. Okay, maybe after we get to another uh, level, maybe at level 23, the kind of boss fight might become uh, normal instead of difficult. Oh, well, it, it goes from impossible to difficult, I think. Something like that. All right, guys. Um, so... <laughs> It's been like an hour later or something like that. I don't, I don't really know. Um, as you guys can see, I have Kaido's hammers for both my my character and my Susano. I'm going to explain to you guys a couple of things that I've discovered while AFK and also playing casually. I'm going on to four hours of recording this video, bro. Like this is just absolutely ridiculous. Like I'm I'm definitely going to make one more video to recoup all this bro bucks that I've spent on this game. So expect at least one more video. But this game is just like such a grind and you really got to invest a lot of bull bucks in order to make any decent progress unless you're leaving this thing running overnight afk but even if you are you're only getting better for the area that you're at and not for the next area because for example all right this is great the game's bugging out on me right now okay so yeah this is what i mean like if you guys notice my event xp in the bottom left hand corner is at 270 like that thing has been going up and down up and down whenever i rejoin <laughs> server like i don't know if there's like a specific glitch for that stuff but i think there is and i just have not noticed what it is but um anyways uh kaido's hammers right like the evolved ones that i have have above four million but standard they come in at two point uh hello i'm clicking on this one. Oh my god this game is so laggy right now uh, but 2.9 million right and you might be thinking like well that's 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 not a lot how, how do you make your way through this because if i go show you my kaido stuff it's still impossible for me to fight him but lo and behold you might have guessed it you can literally finesse the game by pay to winning. And what do I mean by that? Well, if I go fight Kaido, I'll show you guys. Here you go. He spawns in, yada, yada, yada. And if I attack him, you guys can see I do a little decent amount of damage to him. Um, but he does a really good amount of damage to me. So what happens here, right? Well, effectively, you guys will see that when I die, if my Susana was up, we would have been doing a really good amount of damage. So the first thing that you want to make sure is that before you go even try attempt this boss fight, you want to make sure that you have your Susano able and ready to be proc. Because trust me, he would have been at like less than half health right now had my Susano been up. So I died, right? But you can pay to win. You can revive with gems, guys. So for example, if I spent 200 gems, I'm back up again, right? And then my Susano... And bada boo! 
so literally guys you can finesse like the worlds by doing this as you guys can see we are just destroying his hp bar like i'm telling you guys if i went in here and i had my susano ready he would have been probably like at maybe a third health and i would have still had this amount of time left and my susano would have been able to be used again and i would have defeated kaido so that's how i handle this obviously i'm about to die again and we got kicked out but yeah that's how you can pretty much tackle the bosses and finesse the system so that's what i did and i managed to unlock the next area i kept grinding so if you guys unlock the next area is doing this cheese method that i show you guys if you pay to win and use gems which by the way you can buy gems so it's like full circle but you want to take note of the fact that the next world which is bleach is level 25 requirement now i wanted to mention something about these items but i forget but i do want to mention aside from what i was trying to say before that i forgot about it's just that i don't know that game pass that i bought for mythics has not been working for me bro like i have just not been able to get any mythics beyond the first couple of mythics we got earlier into this video and then also i wanted to show you guys i completely forgot about doing the ninja battlefield so a couple of minutes prior i did do the first two ones which was ninja battle and then demon war i haven't done summit war so we're gonna see if we can try this they have a level 18 uh recommendation for you to attempt this so we'll see how it goes the the one piece one was extremely extremely easy uh yeah this this one seems pretty easy as well so obviously if people join on in and help us out this will be a little bit easier but this is a little bit more difficult than what the one piece world was i was basically one-shotting those guys but oh well we'll just uh you know plow our way through as they say <laughs> Oh, and also the bonuses that you get in this uh, mode really help out a lot because you guys can tell the berserk bonus that I just got allows us, excuse me, to do much more damage to crocodile. So uh, we got some gems there. Let's start the next wave. But yeah, just make sure you do this stuff uh, and don't forget about it. I was forgetting about it. And again, I only did it because I thought I was going to AFK for a couple of hours more, but I'm like, bro, I'm not, I'm not finna spend the whole entire day recording on one video. See, <laughs> you know, I'm trying to double upload today but i'm gonna keep at it i'll catch you guys when we're about to complete this thing if we can and i'll keep you posted all right i think i took on a little bit more than i can chew guys i i think i'm gonna catch a big fat l over here yeah I'm gonna revive though what just happened what? oh my god that's another thing that freaking frustrates me sometimes you buy a revive and it still manages to kick you out so i don't know i like this game but this video definitely has brought out a lot of frustrations with this game and a lot of noticeable bugs and glitches that i've i've taken note of and it's just very annoying so uh we could have definitely completed that but now i'm pretty sure i won't be able to attempt this again oh i could attempt it again all right whatever i don't i don't care i'm not gonna do it again though so before we wrap this up though we are gonna go to soul town because i haven't been here but it does not seem that we get anything new to do um and by taking a look at this stuff it doesn't seem like we'll unlock anything new either in the next area but uh yeah uh, expect one more video on this game. It, it's gonna be on Bleach the next one. Let, let's go ahead and just, you know, let's get it. Let's get it started with some swollenness right here, right? Let's do some. Oh, wowzers! <laughs> this is what I mean. I get legendary so easy, but I just cannot get these mythics, bro. Like I don't know what it is, man. The mythics are so difficult for me to get. Look, another legendary. You see, I've been getting legendaries crazy, bro, like crazy. But it's just the mythics. I can't get them, you know. Um, but anyway, yeah, night and day difference. We're going to equip these on our primaries and uh, secondary here. Oh, my God. This thing is glitching up. Bro, can y'all just equip the best weapons? God dang, man. Oh, my goodness. All right. Uh, that's good enough as it is. Let's see how much damage we do here. Uh, yeah, we, we, don't, we don't really do too much. All right. It what it is, boys. Well, <sighs> y'all let me know what you thought about this video. And I will catch you guys in the next one. That's going to sum it up for me. I am tired of playing this game. So I'll catch you guys later.